Today we're cooking codfish Dijon. Do you have one of these? Pretty simple, it's just a Pyrex baking dish. All right, cooking for two people, prep the pan, a little bit of spray. My portions go into the pan. This is the piece, I'm just gonna fold that over. It'll be the same thickness. I'm gonna take my white wine. A lot of people ask me, what type of wine do you use? Does it matter, a Chenin Blanc, a Chardonnay, a Pinot Grigio? Of course not. Whatever you like to drink at home, if it's good enough for you to be drinking, it's certainly good enough for you to be cooking with. So what we're going to do with the cod is just moisten it a little bit so it's going to steam and bake at the same time. A little bit of kosher salt, fresh cracked black pepper. My oven is set at 400 degrees. So when the fish comes out of the oven, when it's just about done, I'm gonna spread a little bit of the sauce, or glue as I call it on, which is going to be a glue for our Ritz cracker crumbs. About four parts mayonnaise, one part uh, Dijon mustard. So I have lemon, and the best part of the lemon flavor is on the outside. So you just roll this over your zester with the, the roll of the wrist, and you can see that we have a beautiful lemon zest right there. Next, let's cut the lemon right in half. My lemon zest, lemon juice. Now, what do we do with the Ritz cracker crumbs? Okay, very simple. You put your crackers in here in a, in a Ziploc bag, and then it's simple. After a long day's work, you can come home and take your frustration out and make, make your Ritz crumbs, okay? Very, very simple Ritz crumbs, melted butter. Put it in a Ziploc bag. Now you have your quick buttered crumbs. So I've set my timer for 12 minutes. So I'm about three quarters of the way cooked here. Now I have my sauce that's going right on top of your fish. And that's gonna be, act as a glue for my buttered Ritz crumbs. Back in the oven. Three minutes. We're gonna get a nice golden color. The butter and the crumbs are gonna to toast up nice and brown and give you that depth of flavor, and we'll be ready to eat. Look at that, so now you can tell your butter is browned up, it's beautiful. And now you're saying, well, how do I make sure it's done? I have a great trick for you. It's a little bamboo skewer. There's a pointed side and there's a flat side. When the fish comes out of the oven, you wanna use the flat side and go straight through the fish. If you feel resistance to the skewer, it probably has a little bit more time to cook. If the skewer goes straight down to the bottom of your baking dish, it's definitely done, okay? And we're gonna go right down. It slides right through, okay? No resistance, definitely ready to go. Nice little fish spatula, it's thin. Right on the plate. Without breaking. Lemon wedge, perfect with that. Go restaurant style, go crazy. You put a little fresh parsley on there, and there you go. Cod Dijonese, bon appetit.